I know you're happy with your forty-five pounds at the moment, but perhaps maybe if you got a job, you'd have more money than that. Aye. Did that not occur to you? Yeah, yeah. It's full of stock, isn't it? Tough times, isn't it? Jordan, you don't really seem very eager. It might appear that way, but. <clears throat> I am. While I was with Jordan, I set him the challenge of going into the local Shibo store to ask for a job. He didn't seem too keen though. I said no. Got no. They haven't got any jobs. No. Okay. Um, I forget myself a job and that. I don't know, maybe what another job? factory job, some kind of warehouse thing. Because I was, I was always good at that, so I suppose that if I went back into that, I'd do all right, you know. What's your ideal job? Uh, just probably like owner of some big bank, watching the money come in, just like overseeing things. And how do you see that? Do you see that achievable? Not really. I mean, because like, like I said, I got no qualifications, didn't do my exams, didn't really get on with no one at school and that, so I suppose the only way to do that would be like getting my own business and that. But I got no skills either, so I don't know. Yeah. Could you not perhaps? Go to one of those adult learning courses and try and fight back the qualifications. Not gonna do that. It's too much uh, effort, really, isn't it? But, uh, going after school. I don't really like teachers it is, as it is, so can't be doing with that. So at the moment, you just want to get a job. You just see yeah, what I suppose, it leads. Yeah. Aye. So Jordan, why do you think? You haven't got a job at the moment? Uh, like I said, no exam qualifications. I only worked in a factory for a, over a year and a bit. Like, not really needed, I suppose. Like, Well, I wouldn't say that. I mean, a lot of small shops and perhaps supermarkets are crying out for people like you. You know, like student, young people. They were eager to do work. Got no qualifications, I said, but. But. I don't think that matters. I think the fact that you've had a job previously for two years, and as long as you get a good reference from them, then. Well, I didn't really get a good reference. I got sacked for being lazy. That's what I said, so. I can't really use that. So it looks a bit like I've just had no job for two years now. Whose loss is it though, so... And also, do you think the current recession has affected affected your life, or...? Well, I don't know, I don't really know what it is like. People going on about it and that, like, saying all the recessions, like, closing loads of shops and that. I mean, I do, I do see shops closing, clo closing? I do see shops closing and that, but... It doesn't really affect me in my current situation, like, I don't really do too much for me, you know. I haven't spoken to my mum in two weeks. Do you live with her? No. Where do you live? I live with my dad, down seaside. So are your parents divorced? No, not yet. They just, they just hate each other, really. They always have done. Never really got on in Leeds, so especially when we moved down here, like. Do you feel that's affected you? No, not really. I kind of, I didn't really like my mum or dad like when I was growing up, to be honest. Just kept myself to myself. Didn't really like them, so not affected me, is it? Like, just leave, leave it. So. Do you think that may have affected you in a bad way, just keeping your feelings to yourself. 
No, not really, because like, I've always learned to uh, just deal with stuff, you know? Like, like at the moment, not having a job and that, like, don't really care, to be honest, which is a good thing. People say that like idiots are like, the, that they don't like get affected by stuff because they don't know about it, right? So I suppose the less I know, So are you saying care, you consider but, yourself an idiot? Not quite, just like... You just said the word idiot. Well, I suppose, yeah. That's what people say, though. So, like, if I just... If I just don't really listen to what's going on and that, if I just don't worry about stuff, then it doesn't affect me. Because I'm not worried by it, not concerned. So do you think the current things in your life, you should really be worrying about them, but you're not? I, like, I should... Like most people would worry about like their mum and that and jobs and getting an house and that but I don't really care so it's alright for me and kind of plodding along like I'm quite happy at the moment I suppose. After following Jordan around for the day, I sense greatly the kind of person he is. He's very realistic yet also slightly pessimistic about his own future. I caught up with Jordan six months later to see how he was getting on and if he'd managed to find himself a job yet. I met up with Jordan at a local school where he'd landed himself a cleaning job. Jordan, how are you doing? Yeah, right, mate. Not too bad. Huh? Yeah. How have you been these past six months? Yeah, not too bad. I've uh, got myself this little job and that and yeah, it's going alright. Have you managed for money? Um, I was unemployed on the dole for like four months. Then uh, got myself this job through the job centre. They said they needed a cleaner down the school, so I came down here, got the job, and been doing this for like two weeks now. How are you finding it? It's pretty easy, really. Not too many shifts and that, so still got time to myself. And I get a bit of money on the side, so it's all right. So what, what's moment. your basic routine then? Um, basically I'll start by around the, um, there's a room down there that's, that I have to clear up and tidy the floor and that then. This room here I go around under the uh, tables and that. Uh, usually I come in about three and then I'll leave around seven or eight, depending on when I finish my me, uh, me jobs and that. Is the, is the wage quite good here or? You know, I get uh, five fifty an hour, which is yeah, all right. You're feeling all right about being becoming unemployed a year and six months ago, and yeah, well, hopefully I'll do app. this for a while and see what else comes up because uh, it's quite easy, if I'm honest. Might might want a bit more of a challenge. Mm. See what I mean? There was like at least like. Four other candidates which yeah. I had to beat, so I suppose I'm quite pleased with myself in that sense. Do you know why they chose you? Uh, probably because I was always available for the, the hours and that, so. Mm. so yeah. And also, you said, um, when I saw you six months ago, you said you're a grafter. Okay. Do you think they saw that potential yeah, in you? Yeah, they must have done, yeah, because I said, like in the interview, I said I'm a grafter and that, and they do you get much satisfaction out of your job, Jordan? Uh, no, not really. Sometimes I'll nick some stuff like paint and that. Do you think that's right? Yeah, well, they don't. They don't notice, so it's fine. Thank you for. Meeting up with us again, Jordan. Thank you. It was great to, Good to, speak to, you again. to meet you and catch up with you. Thanks. Thanks and I wish you every success in your future. You too, thanks. Thanks a lot, Jordan. Yes.